Um, you know, Meredith Grey just well. I mean, even though, even just though I go don't, on vacation. Like I don't watch the show, but I still know of the trials and tribulations of Meredith Grey. <laughs> and I just, you know what, like girl, like take a break. Exactly. She deserves the longest vacation any doctor has ever been awarded. That I'm just being honest. Yeah. All right, but you watch How to Get Away with Murder, right? Uh, I mean, absolutely. Okay, good. So, um, you watched last week's? No. Uh, are you going to spoil it for me again? <laughs> what? Come on. Okay, I'm going to spoil some of it for you. Uh, Annalise has gone insane. I was waiting. She's like, waiting. she's seeing all these things that shouldn't be there. And it's just like, girl... What are you doing? I, I just kind of feel like she just like wraps herself up in all of these things, doesn't let it out, doesn't go to any sort of outlet, doesn't really trust enough people, and yeah. she just lets it get to her. The I only like- person she trusts is like Wes. I know. Although she has a new confidant, you'll see in the episode, mm. which I think it's because Wes is also going a little insane too. And I also feel like it's... Uh, like what what they're experiencing from each other is not helping them like from going insane you know what I'm saying like yeah they're definitely it's not a good feed off you know no. sometimes you need a person like if you're very reserved you need someone who's like crazy yeah but um, they're both, but they're both crazy kind of crazy <laughs> yeah which really isn't helping them um but I, I I do have high hopes for them though yeah I hope it works out I Honestly. hope everyone gets back to normal and then I don't watch Scandal, but I mean, Shonda's amazing, so I'm sure it was just as amazing as um, the other two episodes were. I think, you know, I have a lot of, I know a lot of people who watch Scandal, so mm-hmm. maybe for next time we talk about Shonda, maybe I'll try and get someone in here who can give Ooh, us all the scoop. That'd be nice. Um, all right. If any of you know all the scoop about yeah, Shonda. Yeah, if you stuff, know the scoop about Shonda, let us know. Let us know. We'll hook you up, Eminem uh, Midday. Yeah. Uh, one thing about Shonda is that her shows it's like one right after another of just pulling your heart out in like seriously one day. if you like watch all three of those in a row like gray's scandal and then how to get away with murder like i would need like the longest winter n- winter nap you know what i mean it's kind of like an alfred hitchcock movie that just like gets you the <laughs> yes. whole time and you're just kind of just dying a little bit such a perfect <laughs> analogy so perfect <laughs> All right, excellent. So next up, we are talking about one of my all-time favorites, which people say I'm a grandma because I like this show. (laughs) But I'm like, listen, back up. This is an amazing show. And tell me if you know this. Okay, so raise your hand if you know that what that sound bite is from. Downton Abbey. <laughs> I love Downton Abbey. Marissa, do you watch Downton Abbey? Um, I haven't watched it recently. However, I love just like a good. Okay, Marissa, scandal. do you watch anything recently? Um, recently I've been doing a lot of homework. Okay, stop being a good student and watch TV. <laughs> okay, Downton is in its final season and it's killing me because I love it so much. Um, there's a few predictions. Me and my dad watched it together. My dad keeps saying that Are you he thinks. Spoil stuff also right now. No, it won't give it away. Okay, good. But my dad thinks that he thinks everyone is going to die in the mm. last season. Like, just everyone. And I was like, oh, okay. Sounds like a massacre? Like, or? a mass death. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be killed um, or if they just, like, die naturally. Like, maybe Downton catches on fire, but my dad just believes that they will die. Me? I don't... Mary has had, like, 20,000 suitors. Mm. And I'm thinking, hang on, how far along are you in the show? Uh, not that far. Has she been married? Yeah. Has her husband died? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> so she's had like 1,500 suitors since then. I'm thinking she's going to get married again. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm thinking that if we want to go with your dad's theory of <laughs> a lot of people dying, I feel like... The mass death. There's going to be every, like a lot, of, a lot of deaths, but there's going to be that one person that is completely affected by it all. You know? Who would that be? I feel like it'd be Edith. Yeah. Poor Edith. I feel like Edith is always being left and it makes me sad because she's a nice girl. I'm I'm hoping there's gonna be some sort of like like a good release to it, like you feel happy in the end, but I that's optimistic, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's far fetched. <laughs> All right. The Bachelor, I don't even know what to say. Just more tears. People are upset. Ben sent someone home, like brought her home to meet his parents. 
And then that same day was like, okay, you can leave now. Bye. Yeah. And I was like, Ben, which is like, okay, I didn't really love that girl. But then when he had his rose ceremony, sent home my favorite girl. Uh. Spoiler alert. He sends home Becca. Becca is so good. What are you doing, Ben? Get your head in the game. Obviously, I know you're going to call me for the finale and I'm going to show up and you're going to propose to me. But like, you could have kept Becca around till then. I would have been fine sharing you with Becca. But everyone else, I'm just like, meh. I, I just kind of feel like all the girls on The Bachelor kind of kill me a little bit. Oh, my God. They're insane. All they do is cry. Like, I, if I was on The Bachelor, I feel like I would never be able to cry again after because all my tears were wasted <laughs> on The Bachelor. Yeah. I, and I just feel like I, I, I also wonder, like, how these girls picked. Like, do they try and find the craziest girls they possibly can? Oh, my God. One of the, Some of the girls are just insane. But in the preview for, like, the next couple episodes, mm-hmm. Ben is crying. <gasps> Scandal. I don't think I've ever seen a bachelor cry. Like they get like upset, but I don't think I've ever seen a bachelor cry. Let's break the gender norms. Yes, Ben, cry, yes. cry. <laughs> All right. So our big topic is guilty pleasure TV shows. Mm-hmm. I have way too many of them, and it's just, okay. Basically, every show I watch is a guilty pleasure because I don't really watch good TV. <laughs> but like The Bachelor, Dance Moms, Teen Wolf, like everything it's my guilty pleasure and i am just so obsessed with it yeah marissa what are your guilty pleasures um definitely teen wolf um i was telling more before that i didn't see i'm not watching the season currently because i'm not caught up in the last one and i refuse to like watch a show and like not in sequential order you know like if i don't watch everything the way that it is that i'm not i'm not gonna watch it you're insane um i know more spends a lot of time watching tv than i just you know i can't really don't say that my dad thinks that i study a lot dad i study i don't watch tv honestly dad hey um i also have this one show that i love to watch i don't think it's like a crabby or anything but i mean uh, it's a british television show it's called my mad fat diary um I love it. Uh, I Google think, it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's with this girl. Her name is Ray. Um, she just kind of like leaves like a, a psychiatric ward because she had really like negative feelings about herself. And uh, this is the whole show was just her diary, kind of, kind of like in a, in a Vampire Diaries kind of way, but like way less vampires. Oh, I loved that show. My Vampire Diaries was fabulous. Um, Ex- before they screwed it up at the end of last season. Don't you dare spoil it. I love to spoil for people. <laughs> I hate that about Maybe her. I'll spoil it for Marissa when we get off the air. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, but my Mad Fed Diary is definitely, definitely up there. I love it so much because um, Ray just is someone that you can connect to because everyone has their own insecurities. Everyone has things that they're not 100% cool with of themselves. They're all just kind of trying to move along and she's trying to fall in love and she's trying to just be different and her home life is really weird and it's just like really, really, really awesome. And also they all have British accents. So love a I'm girl I work that. with at Entertainment Tonight. She has a British accent and she says the cutest thing. She's like, oh, I almost had a nervy bee. And I was like, oh my God, Chloe, I love you. <laughs> she's so cute. All right. So that's it for TV. Again, if you ever have anything you want us to talk about, tweet at us and we will put it on because I know I have a little trouble making the script sometimes because I'm like, ooh, what are we going to talk about next? So there's a show you want us to talk about, maybe an episode, things like that. Not even just Shonda Rhimes, just anything. Just let us know. MM um, Midday. Tweet at us. Find me on campus. Find me in real life. Talk, make me seem like I have friends, things like that nature. And uh, we'll see you real, real soon.